This is a chest freezer. And this is one of the most important things that a preparedness minded person can have. It gives you a lot of additional space that we typically don't have in our home refrigerator freezers and they don't use a lot of electricity. It's true, they're kind of a pain to organize, but we'll get into that in a second. The reason why these are so amazing is the way that they open. Obviously they open from the top uh, and so since cold air sinks, the cold air stays down below instead of open instead of falling out every time you open your traditional door refrigerator or freezer. So if you're not familiar with chest freezers, this is what the inside typically looks like. This is a five cubic foot and you can see it's kind of L-shaped. They'll usually come with a basket like this for little things and for organization I really like these storage cubes. I'm pretty sure I got them from Walmart or Target. I did zip tie them together because they tend to fall apart, but, but they do drop perfectly down inside the bottom and a second one will stack on top. So I'll put my meat down the very bottom, vegetables on the top, and then pizzas and long, tall, skinny things off to the side. Uh, this is an indoor outdoor thermometer that I keep buried in the bottom. You've seen it uh, earlier. I think that's a good idea to help you keep, uh, keep an eye on what's going on. They are really, really power efficient. Um, I've been doing testing and right now I have a five gallon jug of water in here that's completely frozen. Obviously this is in my garage and I'm in Texas and it gets to 105 or higher inside here. This thing only uses about a thousand watt hours every 24 hours. So on a portable power station or something like that of decent size, you can run this thing for you know a day or two or longer. The other advantage is that even when the power goes out, they will retain their cold much longer. I have a video I'll put over here of some actual real world testing I did during a power outage at my last house. As I mentioned, my chest freezer uses about a thousand watt hours every 24 hours. And while it's running, it only pulls about 100 to 150 watts. There is one little catch with a chest freezer or any refrigerator or motor based device, which is the startup surge. The moment that a motor starts, you'll get see this huge wattage spike for one second or so between 500 and 900 watts. It happens so fast, it's hard to measure and I've tried repeatedly. I learned about this because my very first power station I ever built only had a 500 watt inverter on it and that inverter was not strong enough to overcome that startup surge. So be aware, if you're gonna power these things with a power station, you need to have a startup, a surge capacity of around 1,000 watts or so. So let's say you wanna put your chest freezer on a battery backup, so that way you can have longer run time. A traditional $40 you know, lead acid computer UPS from Office Depot or Amazon is not going to have that startup surge capability to get up and over through that initial kick on. This is the Golden Mate UPS and it's one of the first UPSs that I'm aware of that actually uses lithium batteries. So you see how small this is comparatively speaking. We've got this great screen on the top and the front that shows a current wattage pull. So the, the chest freezer is off right now. So it's only pulling one watt input voltage and output voltage. And we've got four ports along the back with a breaker reset uh, and an on off switch. This thing has around the equivalent of around 250 watt hours. So it's not the biggest thing in the world, certainly, uh, but Based on my math and my testing, it should run, we should power my chest freezer for about six hours or so 
but in the real world that should stretch to 12 because the chest freezer is going to take time to actually warm up or to to heat back up what's really great about this unit is that it does have the ability to handle that startup surge i've been watching this when it kicks on and this my chest freezer has spiked over 800 watts and for just a second, and this has handled it just fine. I've had it plugged in for a couple of days and there hasn't been any hiccups at all. So there you have it for today. Chest freezers are a great, great, great tool for any home, prepper or not. Great place to store food. Uh, my brother-in-law is using it for baby formula. I got a newborn. Hey, out there. And the Golden Mate lithium based UPS is a great way to protect them. It's a fantastic UPS regardless. Use it on your computer, use it in your home theater stuff, your internet router. I like the form factor. I like that it's kind of tall and skinny so you can sort of tuck it out of the way. Uh, great item. I like the meter on the front. We got multiple ports on the back, but for a, a unique situation like kick on surge on a chest freezer, this is one of the few items out there that will do it. So uh, thanks for watching and check out the uh, links down below if you want to learn more about the Golden Mate UP lithium based UPS. Thanks everyone. Catch you on the next one. So if you're not familiar with chest freezers, this is what the inside typically looks like. This is a five cubic foot, and you can see it's kind of L-shaped. They'll usually come with a basket like this for little things. And for organization, I really like these storage cubes. I'm pretty sure I got them from Walmart or Target. I did zip tie them together because they tend to fall apart, but oh, man, that's heavy.